David, congratulations on a win. Your immediate thoughts after that one? Yeah, obviously I'm very, very happy uh, about the result, but about the performance as well. I think the players have done great uh, this afternoon, put a big shift in. Um, played very good football, never got frustrated, what you easily can do if you play against an opponent who sits so deep, uh, scored some wonderful goals uh, from a substitution with them as well, which you always like, were able to score more, so it was a good performance. Um, we were very strong in the counter-press, so they never were, were really able to to hurt us on the counter, and uh, we played in the right areas, um, that we had to be patient, we have known this, and we have said this before, nobody should underestimate Huddersfield. They, they only lost one in the last six. We, we, we won in the last seven and all the, te- all the games which they played were quite tight. We've known this and this meant we have to be on it. We have to be focused, um, concentrated and play with intensity. Because if you play with intensity against a team which sits so deep, uh, later on you will have more gaps, uh, in more spaces because then the team gets tired and if you if you play with a lot of intensity and this is exactly what the players have done so it was a overall very good performance um, and now we are looking forward to the next one it, to the untrained I did feel comfortable in the first half but also like you said felt patient is that what you said to the lads at half time and what do you think just gave you that extra bit to make the difference yeah we said this in half time and we said this before the game uh, shouldn't get frustrated shooks uh, stick to our game plan uh, we have the whole 90 minutes plus stoppage time to win this game and this is our aim to win it. And we uh, repeat this in half time as well. Obviously, if you then score after set piece um, early helps always. Uh, but how the players then continue to play was very, very good. And uh, they played, as I said, in the right areas. Everyone attacked uh, in the right areas, had really the attacking mindset in their head. Uh, what was good, uh, scored two goals. Had a clean sheet, uh, which is always nice to have. And um, yeah, now we, as I said, look forward to Boxing Day, West Brom away, big occasion, uh, big competitor as well. So um, we are going there. Like I said, take it game by game. This is the next one. We are looking forward to it and uh, we'll try our best again. What can you expect from a West Bromwich Albion team on Tuesday? Yeah, they. They are in the playoffs for a reason, very well organised, a very experienced team as well. Um, but we will uh, try to create ideas, try to find spaces where we can hurt them as well. And uh, with recent games uh, which we had, we have now, and this is nice to see the players, a lot of confidence as well, which you always need in football. And obviously you've seen that uh, the one or other player comes back, which... Uh, has only quality and uh, quality always helps and uh, to have them back. Josh is back on Monday in training. He is uh, the next one uh, who will be then in training and not so far away from involved in the matchday squad as well. Um, so we have to make sure that we uh, yeah, continue, keep going. Everyone is now pushing for a shirt, pushing for being in the matchday squad. Uh, it's very competitive, uh, what you always love to have. Hopefully, Dimi's injury is not too too serious. Uh, and then, as I said, we, we go to the next one. And finally, it's the halfway stage. We've just hit the halfway stage of the season. You've had, seen a lot of different uh, results and, and challenges over the, the first half. But are you pleased with the resilience that your team has shown and the position they've now found themselves in? Yeah, it, I would say it's OK. Uh, if you consider all the... The problems which we had in the first half of the season, I think uh, we are in the table in a position which is okay. Uh, hopefully we have uh, less injury problems in the second half and um, yeah, we will go for it. Uh, but uh, this is what we said at the beginning of the season as well. What is very, very great to see is um, that this team stuck together in a period where it was difficult and it's easy to blame each other. They never have done it. They never finger point uh, anyone. They always um, raised their hand and said, OK, not good enough. Uh, we have to do better. And uh, they worked. They worked very hard, stuck together. And I said this more often, uh, they deserve the whole credit because they win the football matches. And uh, today they have done it in a, in a very good way. Well, congratulations for today and Merry Christmas, of course. Yeah, Merry Christmas from my side as well to everyone who is connected with which, uh, with Norwich City Football Club. Uh, hopefully um, you have now a good Christmas, at least two days till Boxing Day with this result in your back.